Mask wearing has also been made compulsory in parts of the Australian state of Victoria. The restrictions apply to Melbourne and neighbouring Mitchell Shire. Those who flout the rule risk a fine of about $140. Now, Melbourne has been under lockdown for two weeks and people can only leave their homes to get food and essential supplies. This comes as Australia reports its biggest single-day surge in infections. There are 502 new cases, most of them in Victoria. A new study shows nearly 9 out of 10 residents did not self-isolate between having symptoms and being tested, and more than half did not stay away from other people before getting their test results. Unless we have people who get tested staying at home and isolating until they get their results, then we will not see these numbers come down. They will continue to go up and up. And a six-week shutdown will not be for six weeks. It will run for much longer than that. We can't necessarily expect numbers to, to go down. I think that will be uh, an even greater challenge in days ahead. That means that we're going to look at uh, 500, 600 cases per day. I absolutely don't want us to go there. Uh, so we have to reinforce the things that we know will make a difference. And that is the very simple principles of isolation and quarantine.